So as we said, experience is everything. So in luxury hospitality, we never uh, neglect guest service. On the contrary, we search for service excellence. So during the busy season, when I get the lineup at the front desk for check-in, for example, if you hear, would you like a glass of champagne uh, or a coffee or a tea, then you are the right place, at the right place for excellent guest service. So customer experience is the key to exceeding your customer's expectation. What it takes to create the automated guest experience and deliver the world-class guest service to today's breed of customers, especially the guests from the luxury properties. Experience is everything. And we need to work on, for example, prioritize a monetary value, uh, seek personalization, create a unique experience that matches the customer's ethical values. So your opportunities line in your ability to deliver what you promise and surprise your customer with extra care and support. So this is, so we call it wow effect, but how to wow the customer. Let's take a look. To fulfill the successful guest experience is to manage your promise to your guests, which should be intuitive. We must be curious about providing wow experience for our customers as the way to elevate the customer service we are currently providing. The wow experience actually is a service that goes beyond the guest expectation, something unexpressed or something unexpected. This is a service that goes for the extra miles in creative ways for guests, but without them failing to get the basic done as well. So this is important because human beings, including human guests, they remember best in terms of stories. So a powerful way to create a story in your guest's mind that ideally will bring the guests closer to your brand. So you touched the guest's emotion in that stage. For a business to succeed, it needs to maximize the payoff from its guest experience. So this payoff comes when customers remember their experience positively and choose to return ideally bringing their online and offline friends and family with them as well. So what if the guest experience is not positive? It happens, but how can we handle it? So we mentioned earlier during the guest experience journey, the primacy effect, the reason effect. So the peak moment, which means the peak uh, positive moment, in the peak negative moment. And this makes it spectacularly uh, important to pay attention to whatever could form a powerful emotional moment in the customer's journey. So that's why the wow moment um, is why um, this vocabulary form uh, abound with the customer and, and why it's called wow, okay? Um, this is important because we are providing some extraordinary customer experience um, at this moment, which is beyond the expectation of the guest. In other words, that means more from me or wow, a customer service here um, is something that potentially pitfall of wow right here. So if you are not doing something basic well, you cannot do something well. So there are some 
no companies benefits from a customer's uh, taking home memories or of waiting in a line or holding a wire on a, on a phone for more than uh, four or five times, all right, or not recognizing when the guest is arrival. So which is um, important for you before doing any wow effort is try to um, stick on the basic procedures and do that well, follow all the steps, and then you can go beyond that and go for extra miles. There are four steps to take to the wow level, but how do we approach that? The first, is empower your employees. So make it clear that uh, their job, it's their job to uh, empower in the favor of the customer. And back that, the empowerment up with the financial support so they can go out um, of their way for the customers, even if it costs some money. And second is the model wow. So, spin tales um, of different ways that the customer can be impressed. And these can be drawn from your own experience, your imagination, and um, some experience you've already heard, even it's not the same property, not the same industry, for example. And the third one is celebrate the wow effect. When an employee or a team of employee take the time and if necessary, spend some money to create the wow for a guest. So this needs to be celebrated. The Ritz Carlton Hotel Company move both daily and their uh, 10 minutes briefing and the weekly as well. So it's not so easy to stay in a mindset to celebrate that wow when such an effort uh, leads an employee to maybe get less um, of their daily routine work, but this is essential. And it's up to you as a manager to do so. As a leader, you have the choices to either criticize the employee for being less efficient because he's doing less work for, her, uh, for his um, daily routine, or you can celebrate them for doing something that is very important for the future of your company. And the, four, the, the last um, point is learn how to walk the right time. Um, as I said, we need to do the basic job first and then go beyond to that extra mile, okay? But in luxury hospitality, how can we um, just um, seek for those different moments of wow? For example, you need to provide some uh, authentic experience because traditionally uh, luxury goods and services have been defined by ownership, exclusivity, high price points, labor intensive production and exceptional quality. But however, today we often demand the lifestyles people begin to raise their lifestyle value. For these affluence customers, luxury is taking on a new definition. So one of authenticity, ethical, uh, unique experience in the products that reflect their values. So more than ever, some kinds of emotional fulfillment is becoming key in the consumption experience. So increasingly, affluent customers are looking to define themselves by, them, uh, by their experience rather than by the goods themselves. And then you will uh, notice the new luxury today nowadays is quite different because they are changing the values of customer by adapting their advertising strengths, um, different strategies, as we mentioned, it's customer centricity, uh, centricity um, strategy. So we're gonna focus more on storytelling and lifestyle values than other things. For example, uh, there is a report, um, a study 
for uh, 2016 on luxury reported the growth of luxury experience outpacing um, the growth in luxury goods by 5%. So two groups are leading this growth, namely affluence um, minunos and Chinese luxury shoppers, which means especially uh, the Chinese minunos as well. So these groups are shifting their luxury spend and lifestyle habits away from the acquisition of traditional luxury goods. So instead, they are purchasing special luxury experience um, with favorite themes being travel, um, gastronomy, exclusivity uh, for different events uh, and all the aspects of wellness, for example. And then delivering the memory stories, which is uh, a key factor that create an impression uh, for the guests, which means bringing your attention, novelty, emotional impact, timing. So the attention, which means how do you pay the attention to your guests and notice that there is something interesting behind the ex uh, experience. And then the emotional impact, which, which means the kind of, what kind of uh, emotion you will evoke with your guests. The luxury brands often use the real words presents uh, to interact in the beauty and, and by making an ex, um, impression or forming a dialogue with your customers directly. Uh, so your brands can make them feel special and form a memory and therefore uh, ensure the brand's consideration in the long term. That means the customer loyalty. The timing is important as well. Whether the person in the learning mode, the timing is everything. An optimal uh, combination between the mindset of a customer and the creative can um, and the creative can take the, the, the luxury messaging from one directional advertising to another storytelling. So this is we call the captive audience. So why nowadays the brands need to tap into these four different factors to communicate the emotional or ethic stories behind those goods and services. And they have a reason that among all these different audience. So those are the four uh, tips, let's say, um, that we showed. Uh, in general, we can summarize and in these two, four uh, major um, uh, points uh, for experience of the guests. So the first is visualize, how do you make a difference? And second is identify the pain points in your customer journey and find solutions to turn them into opportunities. And the third one is make your guests feel special, personalization. And the last one, not the least, is why not just build your own customer experience roadmap? Just as I showed you earlier, um, my customer journey for my property. So this is very important. This is uh, quite uninvoid today. You heard about e-reputation. So this is what we call guest satisfaction. Measuring a customer um, satisfaction helps and the organizations continue to meet customers' expectation. So customer continues to return and recommend the service to their families and friends. So remember that the happy guests are always loyal guests. And we have nowadays 70% um, get to view the guest comment before their reservations. And then this should be 1% of a guest review um, with their hotel revenue. So that will something, if you, we add some wow um, experience, 
they will get some extra miles and they will, they will get some guest and lawyer, um, for example, membership. They will buy that. So what, why it's important to ask a feedback from the guests? The hotel needs to use the feedback to dive into a better uh, customer service. So we can gather together all the feedbacks and use them to change the hotel service. We can improve any um, different operations daily or uh, in the long run. So this is a critical piece um, of improving the guest experience of uh, those you have served. The feedbacks can help us to operate more efficiently and serve more people ultimately. It can drive increased funding and community awareness. So uh, by um, diving a better experience, gathering together uh, the feedbacks and um, see what, was the, uh, what were the um, pain points and gather them together to improve and make sure you have uh, any action plans on it to do something better for the next time. So what they are complaining, actually, the guests. We have summarized the top five guest complainings in hotel industry nowadays, and uh, very related to um, the Wi-Fi um, and the attitude and the behavior of the guests, uh, of the, the staff, in the cancellation and the refund policies. And this faction uh, is due to the uh, misrepresentation, for example. And the fifth one is extra charges. So somebody uh, has not um, consumed anything, uh, but we charge uh, for a mini bar, for example. So guests will argue for that. So those are the five um, negative guest feedback in hospitality nowadays. How to handle that, the ne negative guest feedback? There's no magic stick, right? So in case of negative guest feedback or complaint, how do we handle that? Here are some secrets. The first is be proactive. That means you foresee some issues before it occurs, if it's possible. And take in uh, initiatives. And do not wait until the guests will come to tell you something wrong. And then you need to find a solution how to resolve that. There's no perfect or right solution for that. A common sense approach uh, to the essential principles of the daily operations is very important. We need to understand the structures of different departments and different sources in hotel and harness those resources together to solve problems at the workplace. This is something very interesting I, I would like to share with you because all customer centric organizations has a um, service recovery fra uh, framework. Um, there are some step-by-step uh, -step process which works all the time. So here I would like to, to just introduce you uh, something interesting. This is a learn method inspired by uh, the, the group of Marriott, for example. Uh, there are a few steps. You all know how to spell the, the word learn, right? So let's just, you know, uh, take a look in, in details. So L for listen. Listen carefully to your guests with no interruption or tell your guests to calm down. Um, this will only uh, ignite the anger of your guests. So Mr. Marriott said, listening is the single most important on the job scale that a good manager can cultivate, which is true. I can assure that. So listen with your ears, with your eyes, and with your heart, and take notes if necessary, if, if somebody's needs for that. With, with no um, interruptions, with no argument with your guests and especially with no defensive word, please. And the word E for emphasize, which means feel the pain of your guests 
and tell him or her that you can understand how they feel. Remember, uh, we talked about emotion. So you need to feel how the guest situation and the feel how the customer felt. Then you need to reformulate the issue to make sure you've got the right thing. For example, do I hear you that? Uh, if I've got the correct, uh, you feel that, right? And it sounds like perhaps. So these are the words that you can use to show the empathy um, in front of your guests. Then the word A for apologize. Apologize to your guests, even if you feel that you have no part of the problem. Apologize on behalf of your team, your property, your organization, and not to take it personally for, your, for yourself. Because I know sometimes uh, when you hear the words, sometimes it's, it's really hurt, okay? But do not take it personally. And then a sincere apology when you apologize to the guests. And then R for react, which means action. You find a solution and what you can do something for the guest. And then you decide what you will do to resolve the problem and follow up with the customer. And the internal related service department, which is quite important to work together to find a solution. So a survey, commissioned by a live person review that 82% of the customer says the number one factor that leads to a great customer service experience is to have their issue resolved quickly. N is the last letter for learn. So N for notify and now. Why this is important? You have found a solution, okay? You may have done something for the guests, but you need to tell this to your guests and do not delay and take your action immediately. So this is what we call learn. The purpose of doing the guest service uh, recovery is the following. The goal should be to replace the story that the guest is telling themselves or the others with a new, better story, uh, sometimes with the wow effect as well, about the interaction. And the charge, uh, and you need to charge with different emotions so the guests can change their experience before they leave the hotel. And this is important, uh, which we call recency uh, effects, because we still remember something which is the latest um, memory um, of, of our experience. And then by doing that with the recovery service, you will win back your customer and turn things around, which called the customer loyalty, because the guests will come back. They will give you a second chance to do it, right? So the companies uh, that focus on their customers are able to provide a positive customer experience throughout their entire journey. Another quote, I love that. So Chef Heiken is a customer service and experience expert. Uh, he's a keynote speaker who described in the importance of the voice of the customer, we call the VOC, which is so true. If you read that, the best advertising you can have is a loyal customer spreading the word about how incredible your business is. <laughs>